this is a page from a small Swedish newspaper from the town of Jungby in the province of Småland in southern Sweden and the date of this article is Thursday the 16th of July 1981 and um, so here we can see um, two runners who are actually orienteering competitors and orienteering uh, for those who don't know is a kind of um, cross-country running uh, involving navigation with a map and compass and uh, the length of the races is normally well for my age group was around 10 kilometers and the amount of time it took was about uh, one hour or one and a half hours um, anyway um, I was there to take part in um, a big five-day orienteering race um, in um, central Sweden um, but um, I had been um, I had applied to stay with the Swedish family for a couple weeks and train with their son um, who is the guy um, who's not wearing glasses in the picture this is um, Magnus Anderson in fact I'm still in contact with Magnus but now both of us have dropped orienteering by and large and do mainly cycling these days because it's easier on the body I think uh, but um, I will translate roughly um, what the newspaper says it says that the um, five-day big orienteering competition um, is starting soon and that lately foreigners from all over the world have been swarming across the borders uh, to enter Sweden to take part in uh, training and at the home of Mr. Stieg Andersen we found uh, Patrick Birding from Canada who together with Magnus Andersen fine-tuned his preparations before the race. Uh, so now um, there was a fairly large article I'm quite honored I've never had such a big article devoted solely to me um, but I will um, I will translate it roughly so you can get get the gist of the meaning the um, article says that um, Canada is um, of course a well-known um, as a sporting nation but it's hardly known for producing successful orienteers no says Patrick uh, at home orienteering is a relatively new sport and that um, in spite of growing a lot lately uh, it still um, has only about 2,000 registered members um, and uh, at home in Canada, people would rather do other sports. And however, I am hoping for a change. It says, um, Patrick Birding, who comes from Vancouver, Canada, in British Columbia, um, who ha has a rich um, power behind him. He was, he was uh, forced to work on a natural gas, gas pipeline in order to earn money to travel to Europe. And he uh, said that he longed to travel to Sweden and the five days competition um, for four years since that was when he saw a film about the five day competition and that the five-day competition in Sweden is um, well known overseas and uh, you know it compares, compares to Wimbledon for tennis players uh, it says Patrick has also met many of the Canadian elite orienteers who competed in the five days um, and uh, 
considered their positive impressions, um, which all led him to want to take part in the event. Before I go any further, I would just like to say again um, how thankful I am to um, my friend Magnus Anderson and his parents and uh, his sister for hosting me at their house. Uh, I'd also like to thank the FK Finn Ski Club, which was the orienteering club um, that I trained with. And also, um, I would like to thank the Swedish Orienteering Federation um, for arranging for me to stay with this family. Without that program, I would, would have never had this incredible experience. Anyway, uh, to continue with um, the article, um, anyway, it's uh, farther down, it says, um, I said it would be really cool to take part in the five-day orienteering competition, says Patrick. It would be good, not just for the competition, but for the possibility of meeting other young people and making contacts. Uh, moving along, it says, um, Patrick came to do his best and see what happens. He will be competing in the men's 19 to 20 age class and that he expects it to be rather tough. Um, farther down, it says he has been on a European odyssey which took him across England and Denmark and Norway where he took part in a big orienteering competition in the south of the country, and that involved six days of competition held over eight days in total. So that means there were two rest days. Um, that was an incredible experience, by the way. It goes on to say that after the Swedish five-day competition, a six-day competition in Scotland awaits him. And um, that was an amazing experience. And I took part in that with my friend Mark McMillan, also from Surrey, British Columbia. It continues, after that, he will go home and take part in the Canadian Championships in the middle of August. Near the end of the article, it says that Patrick will begin university in September 1981. In the final paragraph, it says, We wish this nice representative of the Canadian sports community good luck in the forests of Helsingland. Helsingland, by the way, is the province of Sweden where that um, five-day orienteering race was held. And we hope that he will help increase the popularity of orienteering in his homeland. Um, the writer's name is Thomas Wolfe. In the conclusion of this video, I would like to add that I had such a wonderful time in Sweden in 1981 that I want on to take courses in the Swedish language at the University of British Columbia. In fact, I took Swedish courses for three years, really just um, for fun, but I did get credit for them. Uh, furthermore, I returned to Sweden the following summer, that would be 1982, and took part in the Swedish five-day competition which was held in the far north of the country, um, in the province of um, Norrbotten, which is near the border with Finland. I had a wonderful experience. And again, I was able to sway, stay with a Swedish family. This time it was the Aspling family. Um, the parents were Tony and Inger Aspling, and they had two sons and a daughter. And in fact, I'm also still in contact with that family. Anyway, um, I continued um, to do orienteering and in the summer of 1982, in fact, I won the Canadian championship 
in the men's 19 to 20 category. Um, and um, I returned to Sweden in 1986, um, but also traveled to Germany. And I did a lot of orienteering and practiced my Swedish. I lived with a Swedish guy called Jan Samuelsson. And um, when I returned to Canada, I took part in the Canadian Orienteering Championships. And I complete, competed in the uh, men's 21 and above category. But unfortunately, I only placed 8th. But still, 8th is not bad, but I was hoping to be on the podium. Well, I could go on and on, but I'll stop now. So um, that's it for now. Um, I hope you thought it was interesting. Thanks for listening. Bye.